it's only one jab, but it's something that you don't want to get wrong. One, two. Because you only get one chance. Two. Just as things started to settle down on the waterfront, a young girl came into the tower. Hello. She was okay. super pale, she was shaking, and she looked really sick. Okay, what are you allergic to? I'm allergic to nuts. 19-year-old Catherine is a student from Adelaide. It feels literally like the inside of my mouth is swelling up. What do you normally do carry it on you? I carry an EpiPen for eyes. We have an EpiPen here, it's OK, so don't worry about that. We've got what we call an EpiPen, and it's a cylinder with a pinpoint on the end, and it's full of adrenaline. So we just want to monitor you for a minute and just see how you hold up. I wasn't sure at what point throughout an anaphylactic fit do you actually administer the EpiPen. So a radio beardy, because he's the man with the knowledge. Straight away, and I'm getting the guidance. Ambulance, please. We're, we're going to use the EpiPen, OK? I've never had to use it, and I'm, like, really scared of needles as well. EpiPen injections must be held in the skin for three seconds. Yeah, so I'm just going to put it here and have to put it here and thought it. I would rather do a rescue in 10 foot swell. That's right. You ready? One. Then administer the EpiPen any day of the week. One, two. I honestly thought that once we jab her, it'd be like basically an instant kind of response. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like a response. Yeah, that's all right. It's all good. We'll just give it five, ten minutes. Ambos will be here very soon. But the adrenaline seemed to have a pretty good effect on her ten minutes after we jabbed her. It almost felt like the plastic ones that they use in the first aid course. Yeah. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but at the end of the day, yeah, it went, went pretty good. Yeah. How are you feeling now? You kind of feel like you can breathe a bit better? Yeah? I think you look a lot better. She looks heaps better, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I tried to palm the uh, EpiPen off on the mouse and he gave me the cold shoulder, so I hit her in the thigh. Give her that. The back of my throat, I just felt like I, it was so scratchy that I almost couldn't breathe at one point. I just felt really overridden with panic. Normally with an anaphylactic attack brought on by food, it's normally something like nuts or fish. What'd you have for lunch? But this girl had a burger for lunch. What'd you eat? Um, double cheese pop. The double. Sorry. The double. Oh, I'd have sent you over here. <laughs> <laughs> double cheeseburger. It was just that extra patty. Just stick to the single. Lifeguards are relieved when paramedics arrive to take over. What's your name, mate? My name's Catherine. Catherine. Oh, Dan, and that's me. Has it gotten better? It's gotten a lot better. Okay. They offer some sage advice for EpiPen first-timers. Anything airway like that, yeah. definitely giving them the EpiPen is all right. 100%. At the end of the day, if we do something and we do it right, that's a success. Catherine will undergo further observation at hospital. See ya. Hope everything is okay and um, might get to see you down the beach another day. In the raging waters of Backpackers Rip, two American film students are filming on their GoPro camera when things turn deadly. Just when it seems that Kelvin and Andy are set to document their own demise, two new characters enter the story. Jesse and Harrison reach the young men, but Harmony is not restored just yet. Jesse struggles to keep Kelvin and Andy above water until Harrison arrives. No one will be out of danger until lifeguards negotiate the challenging surf. It's hard when you're in that impact zone because the waves are like they kind of just hit the bank right on top of you and it's hard to stay onto the board and onto the patient at once. Fortunately, the story has a happy ending and Kelvin and Andy live to tell the tale. Ah, uh, he's done well. Done very well. out there and tide started pulling us out and 
It was crazy. <laughs> and without this guy, you know, we'd be way out there. Glad he caught us and whew, could have been bad. We just felt helpless. Couldn't, yeah. couldn't. We tried to go this way. We couldn't go forward. We couldn't, couldn't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> go, 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 pros and rips don't mix because you can't swim. Yeah, you can't no. swim. <laughs> you can film yourself swim. drowning, but that's about it. <laughs> They're lucky they didn't film their last day and their first day at Bondi, so they're lucky to get rescued by the boys. This morning, they're going to meet one of the most amazing surfers on the planet. Harry. Derek. This is Derek. How you hey, going? Harris. Hi, Harry. Harry. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Brazilian surfer Derek Rabalo is blind. Come through, and we've got all the boys in here. So Hello, guys. Jake. Jake. Hey, Derek. Nice to meet you, mate. Derek, nice yeah, to meet you. you too, brother. Although blind since birth, he surfed all over the world, including pipeline in Hawaii. You guys all surf? Yeah, pretty much. There's like 35 lifeguards and probably three quarters of them surf. A couple little waves out there today. Yeah, I was about to ask that. How are the waves? Oh, there's a couple. Of, it's two, two foot. Yeah, we're going to have fun for sure. Yeah. Let's do it. A bunch of off-duty lifeguards want to join Derek on his first surf at Bondi. I'm 100% sure that I'll be very safe. Yeah. Yeah, for the first time in my life. <laughs> I'll not get hurt. <laughs> let's yeah, do let's it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Surfing is one of the most difficult sports in the world to learn. No one is sure how blind man Derek is able to catch a wave. He was trying to explain to me how he can feel the water draining back and, you know, sort of he can feel the speed of the wave almost and then also, you know, obviously he can hear it as well. Yeah, he just loves the water and he loves surfing and he never let it stop him, which is really cool. And to see him paddle out so relaxed and calm, it really gives a lot of meaning to how he just embraces life. They're all yeah, that's really nice. That's yeah. real, brother. Good work. Thank you. Yeah, fun. Nice. Sure, I the did. Water's nice, huh? Yeah, the water is nice and warm, and the weather's perfect. Yeah. No blue bottles. Nah. <laughs> Gary, I give you credit. I tried to close my eyes and catch a wave, oh, and mate, you. that was it was. Cool. I've got a new respect for you, mate. Yeah. Oh, Derek, it was lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely Thanks. to meet you too. Lovely to catch a wave. Sure. That's Thanks, Derek. Again. That was really good. Yeah. Thanks, mate. You want a gift, bro? No, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, David. I really yeah. came so close. <laughs> I really enjoyed catching that one. Yeah, it's so good, yeah. we got to do that again, for sure. Next time, we'll tell him.